Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Uh, look at what came out. The masculine came out here. I don't know what's going on with the, with the masculine here. Um, the number 42 could be significant. Somebody could be 42. The unexpected. And then we have the number 43. I am not making this up. Hold on. Let me slide this to the side so you guys can see this. This is crazy. The number 36 uh, the, or the number 9 could be significant for you, okay? Patience. Okay, look. <laughs> Patience is on the bottom of the deck. So Spirit is telling you, how, if you're the Divine Feminine, have some patience with the Divine Masculine in this Twin Flame situation, okay? Or you're going to need some patience. There's something happening here. We go from the number 42 to the number 43, which tells me, obviously, the Divine Masculine wants to come in, has some sort of unexpected news, or there's some form of a unexpected communication happening for you, okay? Or coming from the Divine Masculine, they want to talk. Um, then, you know, we go from the number 42 to the number 43, you know, obviously that's like progress, you know? But let me pull a Moonology card and see what energy comes up, okay? So, Spirit, show me the um, energy for tw those in Twin Flame connection. <coughs> Ooh. And now I'm coughing. Look at this shit. I cannot make this up. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. So something could be happening here. This could be happening in Libra season. We are in Libra season up until like, what, the 22nd? So cannot make this up, you guys. Full moon in Libra. You could be a Libra or somebody else could, um, or you could have Libra in your chart. It doesn't matter. All right. So I'm going to move these over to the side a little bit. And then we'll get into the tarot. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what y'all have going on. Let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. You could be a Scorpio or be dealing with a Scorpio. It's time to release negative energy. Oh, it's time to release negativity. Okay. So this could be the energy of the Divine Masculine trying to release any anxiety or negativity associated with coming forward towards the divine masculine, um, towards, towards the divine feminine, their twin flame, basically, okay? I mean, with the scale being here and this saying a win-win outcome is forecast, like, that means balance um, over in the overall connection. So maybe balance is going to be restored here for you guys. Or between you guys, or somebody wants to ooh, restore balance. And then I just started burping. Sorry, you guys. All right, show me this current energy, please, between the collective and the, and the twin flame. Mmm, and look at what came out. Twin flame. Thank you, spirit. Mm -mm -mm. There's your confirmation. You're dealing with your twin. The divine masculine is your twin. Ooh, the divine masculine feels like you threw them out. Or you, like, stop talking to them unexpectedly, maybe, or they feel wronged in some type of way or i don't know you know you guys they feel like you were just able to just disconnect from them very easily or something to that effect okay and you know what you, you know what else here you know you guys and they're real emotional about it that waves just wanted to come out so some of you guys could be a water sign or be dealing with a water sign and then we have meeting two or more people dis discussions and planning i told you Somebody wants to talk about maybe how they, you know, may have abruptly start stop dealing with you or whatever, right? I don't, I don't, you know, everybody's situation is different, okay? But obviously somebody feels in this situation like they were handled harshly um, or the way you dealt with them, like maybe you put up some cold boundaries, you know, and they didn't expect you to do that. Um... Show me more. Mm, somebody was a drama queen too. Okay. Somebody was drama out here. Damn. So we went from having a drama queen to crickets. So this is different energy, right? Somebody here got quiet and silent. So if there is somebody here that caused some drama or, you know, or you may have felt like 
Um, and the drama queen can be drama king too, right? Male or female, just apply it where it fits. But um, the crickets, it's like no action. You're quiet. You're tired of you also separating yourself from any drama. Somebody may have felt like they needed to separate themselves from some sort of drama. Hmm. And focus on their happiness. Hmm. I really feel like this is energy of um, ooh, somebody is talking and somebody is jealous. Somebody's there's another energy here. Somebody's jealous. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Somebody in this person's family could also, or somebody in this inner this person's inner circle, um, could have been jealous of of the connection between you and your twin. Somebody close to your, your twin or close to you, right? Swap the roles where you think they fit. But it looks like here somebody had some, there was some talk going back and forth between some family members or some, some friends in a circle. And this person, um, either they could be having this conversation with those people or this already happened, right? Where, you know, the two of y'all, when you were together, were really happy and there was some envy. The conversation is about jealousy, people being petty. And jealous. Um, I mean, the twin could have been a little petty too. You know, somebody could have acted petty here. There was obviously some drama, you know, but I think obviously here, this is the energy of somebody like being jealous of somebody's happiness. Maybe somebody's reporting back to your, to your divine masculine that you are happy, you know, in some other situation. Or just living your life. Somebody's in their head trapped having anxiety eight of swords energy oh boy so maybe somebody's friend or family member could uh also be having a conversation where this could also be spirit intervening and causing and pushing your person um to come out of this non-action energy you know mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. I'm coughing and sneezing. Settlement, agreement, and compromise. I'm probably going to make this reading a little short, y'all, because my allergies are tripping. So it looks like to me, spirit is pushing your the divine masculine to come to, to have a discussion with you, have a conversation with you, and come to some sort of <clears throat> Excuse me, compromise. Oh, y'all, I gotta sip some tea. Okay. That's what's happening. Soulmate. Similar friendship, romantic partner. Yeah. Spirit is pushing this person. <coughs> Let's pull some tarot. Oh, I literally just took some allergy medicine, so I don't know why I'm, like, having this allergy fit, and I was fine before I started recording, so I don't know. Show me how this divine, okay, yeah, I know. I was getting ready to ask, show me how this divine masculine feels, but we already saw the anxiety card, and I said eight of swords energy. This is nine of swords energy. So the divine masculine like can't sleep right now. There could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius in air, in air sign. Ooh. And my throat just like literally like closed when I, while I was saying that. The nine of wands, they could also be uh, Sagittarius. They don't have to be. I think somebody is definitely thinking about their behavior. Somebody cannot sleep. Somebody is worried. It's like they want to take this action, but they can't. Hmm. Yeah, see, but they can't. Or like they're waiting. Seven of Pentacles. They're waiting. Like, do I really want? They're contemplating, you know, trying to decide. Do they really want to put some more time and effort and energy in? <coughs> and energy into this. Oof. 
Let me pull one more card. <clears throat> Let me one more card for the Divine Masculine, please. We'll see more. Another pinnacle. A nine of pinnacles now. It's like somebody sees that you're growing or something is growing. Money could be getting better for somebody, too. Um, but going from the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles, nine of pentacles is about being abundant, independent, single, you know what I'm saying? So somebody's waiting on something. I don't know. Maybe they weren't worried about whether or not you're still single or not, or it's like they know you're not going to stay single for very long because you're in this queen of wands energy, or they view you as being a queen of wands energy, male or female, but just like really attractive, you know? Um, someone who's very stylish, you know, or, um, you know, you have a lot of drip on you, <laughs> you know, whatever, right? And you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy, which is like looking good, feeling good, doing good, whatever, right? I mean, you're not really worried about too much. Divine Masculine is worried about this, okay? How does the Divine Feminine feel? How does the Divine Feminine feel? Oof. Seven of Cups. Show me more for the Divine Feminine. Oh, Lord. Divine Feminine has some confusion. Some options. Oh, there are people fighting over you, huh? You have a new beginning coming and there are people fighting over you. There's competition here. You have the choice to pick. You'll have a choice to pick. Right now, this could be you. Or if it's not you right now, like I said, your person viewed you in this Nine of Pentacles energy and in the Queen of Wands energy. And your energy right now is like you got options. You're, there are multiple people fighting over a new beginning with you. Right? You got more than one person trying to start over with you that's coming back. By the way, the fool here is... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. The fool here is Aries and Aquarius energy. More Sagittarius energy. Scorpio energy here with the Seven of Cups. Five of Wands could be dealing with the Aries or Leo. But there's regret though. Five of Cups or disappointment, sadness over something. Divine Feminine. Okay. Oh, there's a, you could be in regret and sadness that something didn't work out with an Aquarius. Um, this is a star card, which is Aquarius energy. Um, Nine of Cups, the Lovers. Gemini, damn, what is going on? Hold on, let me pull these out. <laughs> this could also be you just kind of sad and healing, okay? Damn, Cancer energy, Gemini energy, Aquarius energy, more Gemini. Somebody got a choice. Somebody... You're manifesting something too. After betrayal, some heartbreak or something, an ending. <clears throat> so it looks like to me, Divine Feminine, you were also in this Nine of Swords energy, but you're not currently in this energy. Like you were in that energy. You know, you really hope that this would have worked. You obviously you love this person. Um, but I feel like maybe here we have the lovers here is about a choice again. Like, are you gonna, you know. Chase after your own happiness. Choose your happiness over theirs. You know, maybe some of you all did that, have to do that, and you were a little upset about that, you know, and sad about it. And, you know, you're in this healing phase right now. You were in this healing phase. Now I feel like, you know, you're on this new journey, um, this new beginning. These are cards that came out from the bottom of the day. The energy you're in now is like people fighting over you. Everybody thinks you're attractive. You're um, doing well. You're independent, um, male or female, right? The, the full energy is about a new start. The sun is here in bright happiness, right? Page of Wands is also good news. You know, the pages, Page of Wands brings the good news here. But this is also ad adventurous. <coughs> Excuse me. Fun and flirty energy. Like, yeah. That's how people feel about you. Or that's how you're feeling and that's how you're viewed. So let's see here, what's, what actions will the Divine Masculine be taking? Show me why the Divine Masculine is here. What actions will the Divine Masculine be taking? Okay. 
competition. Somebody is willing to do anything at all costs. Mm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Somebody's willing to do anything at all costs, okay, to make something right. You know, somebody made a judgment call about something from the past. All right, this Scorpio energy judgment that can also be viewed as reconciliation. Um, somebody, can, the Divine Masculine feels like this is a divine connection and they will fight for whatever or whoever. It's like in this Five of Swords, you see those two people in the background and this person looking at those two people. The Divine Masculine is looking at them like, yep, yeah, um, I'll take that. I'll take it from here. I'll take it from here. And then it's, I'm being drawn to like this person, you know, spirit is like app applauding the Divine Masculine for doing this or or spirit is pushing this person to do this or, and you know, you know, <coughs> wants this person to do something, take some action. It's like, it's like spirit is applauding them. More Scorpio energy again, the Tower card. Um, man, somebody's belief system is like crumbling down though. You know, there was a Tower moment here, obviously. Or some shocking news, I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> One more card, please. Okay, the world. So Scorpio energy, Taurus energy, Aquarius, and Leo. Fixed energy here, the world card. This is about travel. This is about ending cycles. So basically, some cycle is ending. Like, spirit is pushing, cause this tower moment because the divine masculine was in this energy and not doing anything, wanting to act. So spirit said, okay, if you're not going to do it, I will. Hence the world. Why the world is here. This judgment was called. Spirit said, okay, you're going to fight it. This judgment's called. This tower is about to happen. And this wheel is about to spin. Moving forward, whether you like it or not. Yeah, that's what that is. Mm. So, what action here? What action? Even though I think I just kind of answered that. The Wheel of Fortune. Moving forward. Divine energy. Divine purpose. This person uh, wants, knows that you... Ooh, hold on. Eight of Swords. They're still in their head. Even though they're being guided to move forward. Still in their head, the Hermit. Still in their head, not taking action. Still in their head, not taking action. The Hermit card, the Four Swords. Like, that's like no action. And the Three of Pentacles, they want to work it out and rebuild. But I don't see the action. Page of Swords. So they're just going to look at you from afar. <coughs> and not say anything. High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. Which is um, Pisces energy. Sometimes Scorpio. A lot of water here, a lot of um, fire, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. There's a lot of Scorpio too, right? And fixed sign energy. And Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, let's see what your advice is, you guys. What's the advice here for the Divine Masculine? Abundance. The advice is the focus for the Divine Masculine is to focus on your abundance. Maybe focus on work, you know? Focus on working... Um, and that makes sense. Taking a break, not taking any action in this, in this situation, right? And, but <laughs> focusing on your money and work, going, somebody's going, the divine masculine is going home, going to work and going home and going and trying to go to sleep, but I don't think they're sleeping very much. And this person is using, using work as an excuse to not, to not think about the divine feminine. What's the advice for the divine feminine, please? Advice for divine feminine in the near future. Okay, mm, what's one more for divine feminine? <coughs> no need to worry. <clears throat> if you guys, whatever you guys are worried about, spirit is saying, don't worry about it. It's obviously all here in divine timing. The will of fortune is here, so that's obvious. The world is here, so that's obvious. You know. A new cycle will be made available to you, whether you choose this person or not. I feel like you will be having some options, and those options can be coming in for you in the near future. Um, and Spirit is saying, there's no need for you to worry. You're fine. 
No, yeah. Bottom of the deck is helpful people. You could be meeting new friends, Divine Feminine, or, um, you know, meeting new people in general. And then the answer is yes, if you've been wanting to know if you're going to be meeting new people or whatever it is, maybe there is a reason you need help and the spirit is sending you the right help at the right time. I don't know, right? But I hope this resonates for you guys. Hit the like button.